Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel, Hub Hildenbrand Guitar Academia. Today we have another ear training exercise um, and it's about scales, hearing scales and there's a particular exercise or actually like, like two exercises um, which are actually quite, 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 I think quite helpful and, and also challenging for, um, for most of us. All right, um, yeah, by the way, the, the PDF, there's a PDF down in the description below. You find the link um, to, to download the PDF and um, this would be really um, good if you do that because we have these, um, there's a sheet of scale degrees and we will um, go a little bit through that. So it's good when you, when you know what, what we are talking about and can, can follow this, these number uh, sheets actually, um, these numbers. And also it supports this channel, so it would be a cool thing to do. Thanks. All right, so um, it's about singing scale, singing a scale. And um, yeah, we, we talked about scales and chord scales and that, that how, how, how important scales are and that they are like, like a tone pool, um, which in a way in every, at every moment in music there is a certain certain scale yeah there are exceptions of course but but in a way you can either there's a chord or a melody or both at the same time or a po polyphony more melodies at the same time and you always can can put like like a certain time frame you can you can you can you can in a way isolate and, and say okay this this whole thing here um, belongs to that scale yeah even if if they are not all all um, notes all notes um, in that uh, piece of, of music, in this um, uh, fragment of music, um, but still um, you have a certain root, um, mostly that, like there's a, like a, a basis uh, to, like a basic point of gravitation, you can say. And on that, there are all these other notes are relating to that. <clears throat> So that you very often you just miss some notes out of this out of out, out of the scale. So some notes are um, maybe you have like five notes or four or three, but then there's always like a more most natural choice um, which you can which you can take. So when you when you just have three notes, then you also look of course at, at the context of the piece and then um, or the surrounding, what comes before, what comes after of this. Um, musical fragment what you're looking for and um, or what you're looking at and um, <clears throat> then you can you can really mostly you can really find like this this more most natural scale choice <clears throat> most uh, natural choice of, of notes which um, which then will form a scale so a scale what I just <clears throat> what I just um, mean is is like like scales are always present even if you if you don't think like like modal um like where you take a scale for a long time or even if you if you think scale at all scales you can say that are always there they are always giving you the the tone pool which you extract from the tonal material so from the whole um from the totality of or the total um, notes you have in that tonal system so we have 12 in the west and you you have a tonal pool which you get out of these um, 12 and then you have mostly seven notes <clears throat> these seven um, they are really like um, like the, the the tone pool which you which you use for a certain moment in, in music and as I said, even if you don't have a whole scale or even if you don't sync scale. So that's, that, uh, that's a little bit of introduction here. So that gives you, gives you an idea how important scales actually are. Yeah? Without just syncing uh, scales in music, scales are there all the time. Yeah, maybe just, just for example, you have a piece in C major and uh, this piece... Um, goes through some diatonic chords of C major. So just using the, the diatonic chords. And then at a certain point you, you are on F major. And of course, maybe you just have these three notes of, of F major, F, A, C. 
but the whole piece, the whole surrounding gives you really this, this, um, um, it's, 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 it's very clear that, that most naturally um, you will use the, the notes of C major for this F major chord. So it will be Lydian. It will be a Lydian, a Lydian thing there. Yeah? If you would, would play like a, a, a um, instead of raise the four this, to, play, to have the B, instead you have the B flat, it would sound wrong. Yeah? So the, the, tonal, um, um, the tonal pool, the scale gives you a sort of like, like, a, um, yeah, like a, a selection which, which is right at that moment. Selection of notes, which is right at that moment. Okay, anyway, um, of course, also for, for other music like, like Indian raga music, Turkish makam music, modal music, modal jazz, whatever, um, scales are very, very, very important, of course. So it makes, makes, it makes a lot of sense to practice them. Um, and to practice all these different kinds of scales which, are, which you use in your music or which you want to use. So we pick now a scale, one scale, D Phrygian. Yeah, that's just arbitrary actually, D Phrygian. And we, um, I, I also have a low D string here. Um, we do this quite often here on Guitar Academia to have a kind of a drone. And that is kind of nice also to also relate our, our notes in a way to, to this root all the time. Although sometimes you also should practice without this drone, just make, make this uh, these relationships, which we will talk about soon, um, just um, by yourself, yes, yeah? so that, that you have this kind of a root in your head um, while singing all the other notes of the scale. Okay, so let's get right into that. You have the first page, singing a scale, and then um, sing on note names and be aware of the note functions. So that's that's important actually, yeah. So that you that you um, that you um, yeah that you, that you do exactly that that you you sing the note. So you have the sound and you also play the note. In this case, you play the note, you sing the note, so you have the sound. Yeah. Then you also sing on note names. That means you are also. Um, You also connect the names of the notes with the sound. And at the same time, you, you think about the note functions. That means like this is a, for example, it starts with a, with a minor second above the root. So it's, it's, it's this function, it's this, uh, it has not some, some tension actually, and it wants to resolve to, to the, to the, um, to the back to the tonic yeah, and these, these kinds of functions the, actually the sounds the colors these notes are creating these are actually the, the functions because they all um, they all happen in in this kind of gravitational uh, like miniature of, of of the universe you can say yeah? where you have like like the Sun is a D and all the, the other planets are some some somehow like around around the, the sun and there are like all these different gravitational forces and um, and these are actually the colors of the notes also besides the actual tone colors because we also um, will talk about like perfect pitch because I'm also practicing um, perfect pitch um, I don't have it yet but um, but there it's really about um, the, the, to, to uh, listen for, for the different colors of the notes. And for that, it's also good to, to, to sing on note names because then you really have um, um, always, you sing a note, you hear it, and you also get uh, may, maybe more unconscious, you get the, the, the color of these individual, individual pic, pitches by, by themselves. Like an E flat sounds different as, as an F, for example. And, um, and then you also name it, so you, you get this connection, actually. Yeah? Or it encourages this, this kind of connection. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I, I, will, I will do this exercise, and um, it would be cool if you just also um, get this PDF and we do it together here, right now. So, I, um, and 
by the way, the, the, the tempo of, the, of this is, 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 is free, you know? I mean, it's always like a singing. Um, when we do ear training and we, when we do singing, then of course we can say the, the faster you can sing, the better. But the main importance is accuracy. So if you, if you sing fast but not accurate, that makes no sense. Yeah. And accuracy is a bit like, um, it can be a little bit misleading because um, accuracy is, is more about like having a very clear imagination. Sometimes your, your vocal cords, because uh, we, are, we are not singers, yeah? maybe not all of us are singers, I'm also not, not really a singer, um, I'm, I play guitar, okay, I, occasionally I sing also, but um, I would not really consider myself as, as a singer. Right? Yeah, I mean, I never really had had lessons and, and studied that. I'm I'm just doing that in a way, and I, I know my limitations. So so if you do if you are not a singer, then then you have maybe not like perfect control um, um, of your vocal cords. So uh, that way, it will will be also like a tech, technical issue uh, to to really accurately um, sing the notes. Um, so that's that's why if you have a clear imagination, yeah, and that's that's the thing you you have to go for, then sometimes maybe you sing a little low or a little high um, this, this these individual individual pitches, but um, that's maybe just due to your your vocal technique, which I'm not assuming that you have a, a great vocal technique, you know. Okay, let's uh, let's do this exercise. <laughs> Warm up the voice a little bit. this idea huh? so I did it very slow and maybe um, if I sang it now a bit slow to really get into that 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 that, um, that scale I also could could try to, to do maybe more like a in, in time version of that yeah so D E flat D Muff D G D A D B flat D C D D D E flat D D D C D M flat D M D G D Muff D E flat D D C D D Kind of, yeah. See. Okay. So, but really, as I said, I mean, I'm really also not not warmed up now with my voice, and it's it's a bit uh, also early in the morning, <laughs> and um, yeah. So, uh, don't judge too hard. Um, 
Okay, we take the, the next exercise. It's just the plain scale. And we should do that also. <clears throat> Maybe it's a bit easier. D flat of G, A, B flat, C, D, D, C, B flat, A, G, A, F, E flat, D. <clears throat> also play it. Um, also just with the drone it's possible. D flat of G, A, B flat, C, D, D. C, B flat, A, G, F, E flat, G, E flat, G. Okay, um, and we can also sing it while while we play it, so to also check our in intonation, of course, so it's helpful maybe. Also, we get this connection maybe also a bit better, huh? this connection of, because of course, later on we want to play things, yeah, we are not, we are not, we don't want to perform this uh, scale singing, we, we want to play, so we will also um, connect that um, with our playing and playing while singing and uh, saying the note names and also feeling all these, these note functions is like the full, you can say the full package. Yeah. And either you, you play it on your instrument or you visualize it. Yeah. That's another thing what you, what you, um, what you should do. It's, it's like to just sing that you would play it on the, on the fretboard. That you, that you really um, practicing uh, to get like a kind of a mental, visual, like an image um, what you do. Yeah, so that I, I know, okay, D flat... I know, okay, that, that's my note, and I, I, I see it in my head. Murphy flat D, G, I, Murph G. Yeah, that I really have this, this clear picture. I mean, I, I, I can't show this to you <laughs> because it's inside here. But um, that's really, um, that's a very good, good exercise. Also, you can just imagine like, 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 like singing and going through these different scale degrees but we we, um, we will go, go on on the next page then it's also um it's also a great exercise for that um all right so one more time playing and singing d flat of g a b flat c d d c b flat a g f e flat d All right, so let's go to the next um, page, scale degrees. And there are some, some points to, 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 to consider actually when you, when, you, when you play and perform, I mean when you practice that, um, that uh, you try to pre-hear every note before you sing it. I mean that you're not like, like your voice do something and does something and you you're not um, you have to <clears throat> while you're singing it or after you, you sang it you, you, you think about was it right or wrong no actually your your imagination should 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 lead or control the whole thing yeah so when you when you um, want to sing an E flat now for example you try to have that in your mind before you sing it. E flat, yeah, that you're really on the note when, when, you, start your, when you start your singing. So um, try to, to it's, 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 sometimes it's just a little, a, a, a little bit delaying the actual singing. That can really make a huge difference. Yeah, you want to sing the note, but then you, you just wait very little, like instant to, to not sing it directly, but try to, to get this mental, mental um, picture, this mental, uh, how, how does it sound? How does it feel? Where, 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 where it is on, on the fretboard? 
Um, but especially like how does it sound, this note? Yeah? How, how does it sound? And sometimes if you just wait a little bit be before, you, before you sing it, your, your, your brain has a little bit of, of, of extra time. So it can, it can in, a, in a way, it can channel this not directly to your voice, but first like, like being a little bit more aware of what, what will happen. Yeah, so, so it's um, um, that what I mean also with, with, um, with fast singing and, and um, versus, uh, versus um, accuracy. That um, you want to sing fast, of course, but at the same time you want to have this a little, this, this, um, this kind of a, a mental... Um, this imagination of the, the actual sound in your head, in your inner ear um, before. So that you first like a kind of an inner singing takes place and then you use your voice. And really go for this, for this small instant. I mean, you can, you can um, for practicing, you, you can you can make it really longer, and these these this this scale degrees uh, um, sheet is is really great for that, really because it's just um, it's it's in a way it's not about music, it's just about exactly like like singing arbitrary um, pitches at any time, and um, because they are not in a musical order, yeah, I mean not really. They're meant more for, for like, like all kinds of combinations there you have of, of these uh, eight notes. Um, octave, I mean, uh, like, like the seven notes plus octave. So one to eight. And um, so you just sing note by note. <clears throat> like every note is, is new. You, you are not in a kind of a, in a mel melodic movement or in a melody which you, which you understand, which you know or something like that. It just it goes note and then the next note and then the next note yeah so you can really practice this 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 thing with getting like this this mental imagination before before you sing okay there are some also some 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 little more notes but mainly we talked about all that stuff okay so we go into that the idea is the following yeah, you have you have all these these lines of numbers one to eight and every number represents one scale degree so one is a root yeah the low one this one the d in this case it can be <clears throat> it can be of course used for for any any uh, scale yeah that's that's also why i use the numbers and not the note names here because this can be just used for for any weird seven note scale um, so you have you have these scale degrees, and um, so these are the sorry these are the scale degrees. And what what you do, you sing that. So you sing you, you can sing the whole thing through, yeah, line by line. Um, but you can also um, just take excerpts of that or start somewhere and go on. <clears throat> it it depends, of course, um, how. Um, how much you you want to practice that? Actually, I I never practiced more than maybe just going through the whole thing once. You know, I mean that takes already some time, and and after that you feel okay. Uh, I I got it. <laughs> okay, but of course you can you can go through the whole thing more times. It it really doesn't matter because it's it's really not. I mean. You, you can't really memorize the pattern. It's, it's, there are too many uh, numbers which are not in, an, in a particular order. So, Okay, so we, what we do? We, um, I play with a drone, of course, this D. You can also play without that. It's also possible. I, I also use, here I uh, just recognize, I also use the A here sometimes. That gives me more this, this thumb. Um, tampura um, idea of Indian raga music to have this this uh, root and also the, the fifth the pa also sounding it's just a nice to, to create a nice atmosphere you know that's a nice surrounding where you really have the feeling every note is is has its own life and it's and it's like a, 
Yeah, and it's beauty, and and you you enjoy the whole practice. It's it's of course very important. Don't 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 make your your practice too dry, and also it should be really connected with with your with your music actually. So if you have a certain scale, a certain piece. <clears throat> where you have to maybe improvise on a certain scale, which is maybe also difficult, or just only this scale is used for a large portion of the, um, the solo um, form, then you can just apply this, um, this scale, um, this exercise for that scale. <coughs> okay, so I sing my D. 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 Then I, I will go go on with the next note. So I just am singing my, my D is it's a one, yeah, the first number there. Then I, I see okay, four. Then I I can do that very slow first to really establish or, or um, practice this procedure of inner imagination. Really imagine this this four now. And the four is a G, right? So the fourth degree. G. Then I have the fifth, and I imagine the note in my head. A. Then I have the three, the minor third. A. my place I think here somewhere so let's go from the eight <clears throat> so the third of the last note um, <clears throat> yeah and and you can do that very slow really try to to really imagine the note in your head and also if you have troubles imagining the, the note in your head just just go for it yeah it will come just just take a little bit extra time to do that of course another thing you can you can do if you really have trouble with with a certain note to to um, to imagine and you can just play it yeah, you play that note Listen to that, how it feels, the tension. And then you stop. <clears throat> and you can just try to imagine this. Or even with, a, with playing the drone. Yeah, and then you can sing it. B flat. And so and so on. So when you when you when you do that it will also become more 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 and more quick um, um, become more and more quick um, I mean it becomes more and more possible to to, to, to to sing quick because you're already always singing the same notes so <clears throat> yeah, you can say like a second line would be like for example um, B flat A E flat C D of G B flat D G D A C of D E flat D. Yeah, that was the first note of the third line. Yeah, so it 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 it, it can become also even quicker, and and you just um yeah you just do that. But um 
when you are able to sing it really quick, um, I think it's it's then then you then you uh, understand. I mean, what then you understand that you know that you know. And I think this you don't have to do this exercise then um, like like that. Then maybe you just do it like mentally, yeah. Just playing your your uh, drone, for example, and 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 think the notes and. Yeah, or without the drone, um, just giving you the, the the D sometimes to have a to get a like a um, that your your inner um, imagination of the actual pitches of the actual sounds do not get off. Yeah, that you really when you imagine D that you have always like this this note this note in your head um, when you when you think of, of D and you you hear the sound that it's not an E flat what you're actually hearing inside. You have to tune yourself sometimes, maybe, or have a tuning fork, and you t can just, or like in a smartphone, um, some tuning tones, or like a, a keyboard uh, in in the sm smartphone is also like really good for that, um, and you can do it wherever you are. Yeah, practice that in in a park, doing that mentally, and sometimes referring to some some notes um, to tune yourself. All right. Um, yeah, I think that that's a really uh, cool exercise. It's really like in a way um, simple and really uh, directed to to uh, to um, to what's what's necessary, what, what what will be helpful if you practice that, and um, also it connects your um, like the sound and the note names and the different scale degrees functions. Um, with a fretboard and and like like yeah I think it's a good good um, also when you have a especially when you have a new scale for example which you really like oh, what what is that you know or or like a, a scale which you always had like difficulty with then you can just just uh, yeah just say to yourself okay I will I will do my scale degrees my my sheet where's my sheet and then you 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 get through that very um, very um, accurate and very slow first and, and really try to imagine the notes and uh, play the note which you really have trouble with and then stop playing and try to imagine that note again and then sing it again and then yeah that, that way you will you will um, that's that's the ear training. All right. I hope um, this will 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 help you on your journey. Um, and um, yeah, download this this PDF down in the description below. It also supports this channel, of course. So it would be cool if you do that. And also, you have a um, link in the description um, below where you can go to my website, hupildenbrand.com, and the Guitar Academia page. There is a button where you can also donate to um, support uh, my, my work here on this channel so that I'm able to uh, share all that stuff with you because there's a lot of stuff still waiting in these folders uh, behind me actually. Um, yeah, so let's have some fun here. Thanks for watching. My name is Hupildenbrand.